How to license Component 1 controls. So you just bought a new Component 1 license and you're looking to get it activated. Let's get started. To activate a Component 1 product key, you can either use the Meshius License Manager or the Component 1 control panel. Activating license keys with the License Manager. Our License Manager tool can be accessed after you've installed the product under the Component 1, C1 Start menu, Apps Directory, or it may launch automatically when you build your application in Visual Studio. Launch the tool, locate the addition of your license, and click Activate. Now, enter your key and press the Activate button. Your license is now activated. Make sure to rebuild your application for the license to take effect. Activating license keys with the Component 1 control panel. If you don't see the product listed in the License Manager, or you haven't fully installed the product, you can also activate your key using the Component 1 control panel. This is the web installer that you get when you download any Component 1 product from our website. Select the License tab and input your name, company, and key. Then, in the Product drop-down menu, select the product name, such as Component 1 Studio Enterprise. This approach will also allow you to activate our older 24-character license keys purchased before our 2020 V2 release. Licensing Controls in Visual Studio With your license now activated, let's discuss how to license the Component 1 controls you're using in your application. For any .NET 6 or higher project built with Component 1 NuGet packages, an automatic GCLICX license file is generated once your project is built. This file contains the runtime license and must remain embedded in your final application as a resource. In the case of WinForms and WPF.NET Framework projects that directly reference Component 1 libraries or DLLs, a traditional licenses.licx file is used instead. Remember to include the licenses.licx file as an embedded resource. When you add a control from the toolbox, the licenses.licx file is automatically created and updated. Alternatively, you can manually create the licenses.licx file. For our .gclicx runtime license, consider using our Meshius Visual Studio tool. Check our licensing documentation to find additional instructions on activating keys, generating license files, or licensing other products. For more in-depth licensing questions, feel free to create a ticket or call us so we can resolve the issue and get you back up to speed as quickly as possible. To learn more about Component 1 controls, visit developer.meshius.com slash component1.